In this video, we'll show you how to provision source video in your Oracle Content Management instance and how to give user access to source video. To get started, you need to log in to your Oracle Cloud or OCI console. You can find the access link in the welcome email you would have received from Oracle. We recommend bookmarking this link for easy access in the future. Let's start by enabling source video in your Oracle Content Management instance. To do this, open up your OCI console Open the hamburger menu in the top left and search content. Then click Overview and click Create Instance. Write your instance name, description if you want to, add a notification email, select your license type, and remember to check the video creation platform option. Then press Create Instance and then wait a few minutes. If you already have an existing Oracle Content Management instance, you can simply edit the setting and tick the video creation platform option to enable source video. You can view the provisioning process in the Instance tab. When it succeed, click on Open Instance. Insert your Oracle Cloud username and password and click Sign In. Let's set up a repository in Oracle Content Management. You'll be able to share your source videos in the repository. Go to Content and click on Create a new asset repository. Add a name, select the assets type, and click Save. Now we'll show you how to add admin users and give them access to source video. Users are managed in Oracle Identity Cloud Service, or IDCS. To add user, go back to your OCI console. Click on Identity and Security, and then on Federation. Find your connected IDCS and open the IDCS console. On the left side, go to Group. From here, create a new IDCS group, adding a name, and then clicking Finish. Go to User and click on Assign New User. Once you're ready, click on Oracle Cloud Service and assign your group to the Social Enterprise User role. Your account should have been upgraded. Log into your source account and click on the icon on the top right corner, and then select Account. Finally, go to Usage to check your limits. 